How does a Puritan emperor express grief for the death of a queen he holds in awe? Aurangzeb built the largest Mughal structure in the Deccan for Dilras Banu Begum, who died in 1657, aged 35. The queen's mausoleum is framed in the arched entrance gate. Intricate design extends through the interior from door to dome. A gap in the Siachal Hills provides a backdrop for the tomb. The mausoleum was completed in 1661. It was an original design by Atullah, whose father designed the Taj and executed by Hanspat Rai, an engineer. The Queen's tomb is laid out splendidly on a high platform in the center of a formal Mughal charbagh. The walkway to the tomb has sandstone screens on either side. A passage to the raised platform has elegantly embossed brass doors. A Safavid princess, Aurangzeb said his wife and chief consort was a woman of extreme imperiousness. But to the end of her life, I continued to love her. In the arched portals of the tomb are similar doors with geometric patterns. There is no cenotaph. The queen's grave lies visible in the depth of the tomb, surrounded by a delicate octagonal jali. Marble jalis framed in fine plaster panels are scooped out of the walls of the tomb. This marble was hauled by oxen all the way from Jaipur. Above the dado, marble gives way to fine plaster work. There are palace pavilions with terraces and pools at the cardinal points on the sides of the garden. The garden is further divided by walkways. At the intersections are octagonal platforms. The enclosing high walls are topped by crenellations. Each corner has a chhatri over a buttress. Bibi ka Makbara may have been intended to rival the Taj, but severe budgetary constraints resulted in a monument with its own significant beauty. It is the last in a range of great Mughal mausoleums. We hope you liked viewing this with us. Don't forget to like and to subscribe. See you at our next destination.